Hey guys, it's Strawberry Ellie here and welcome back to another video. In today's video I want to share with you my top 8 minimalist life hacks that help you to simplify and declutter your life so you're able to focus on the things that bring you happiness, that you want to achieve and that you just want to accomplish. And without further ado, I'd say we just start off with my first life hack. So my first life hack is actually one you might have already applied to your life without even knowing it and that is using the library. Just getting books from there, DVDs, CDs or educational magazines or anything like that is so much easier. You don't have to worry about having that at home. Bring them back whenever you don't need them anymore. You don't have to pay for them so you save money as well and you also save paper so it's much better for the environment. You don't have to worry about having more things you don't really need. Also just getting audiobooks or ebooks and just having them on your iPad or your Kindle. Like I do for example, I have all my ebooks on my iPad or on, on my computer so I can easily read them whenever I'm at and I don't have to worry about carrying them around. That is so much easier with traveling and also just with audiobooks, I have them on my phone and I listen to podcasts as well. It doesn't take up any space it's just all on here you don't have to worry about having that at home and just cluttering up your life you might have watched my minimalist wardrobe video and since then I already downsized even more and I'm still downsizing and I just want to keep it as minimalistic as possible. So one easy and simple thing is definitely keeping just one or two things of one specific type of clothes. For example, I just have one pair of jeans, then I just have a couple of sweatshirts and then I have a few t-shirts, actually a few more than a couple but I'm working on that guys. Just one pair of trainers and just one normal pair of shoes and then just normal pants, one sleeping shirt or things like that. You just have much less things you have to worry about. When I have something I like to wear it over and over again like I don't really care that much about having 10 different sweaters or shirts or things like that. It's easier for me to just have a few pieces of clothes. Also with traveling as I said it's just easier to carry less around with you. You just keep a few things, you rotate between them and you mix and match between them. And my second point of this is also that you keep clothes that have a similar color. So for example I have a lot of things that are more in it on the darker side so I have more dark blue and gray and black things so I can all wash them together which saves up a lot of water and just saves up time so that is way easier for me and that also helps with wearing things so just like mix and match them. One or two pairs of shorts that go with every single shirt and also just every pair of jeans and shoes and things like that so you don't have to worry about I can only wear this type of shirt with these kind of jeans and that is just all complicated and I just like to simplify things. In terms of toiletries, I like to keep it simple as well and one of my top life hacks is definitely that you share your things with the partner you're with or with your boyfriend or just with your family member or friends you're living with and that way you have way less products, that means you have to buy less, you save money and that way you just have standing around one type of shower gel for example, one body lotion and one type of shampoo and soap. You just keep it really simple, you can also get these like soap bars which are really good for traveling I have to get my hands on these and then also toothpaste we use this tooth powder echo dent I think it is called and that way we have lay way less products and it doesn't really matter for us with the scent we don't really have scent themed products we just keep it really neutral with our scents we don't really like like overpowering smells so that way we can both use it and we don't have to worry about having a weird smell or anything like that and it's also way easier with traveling we take fewer things and it's just easier to carry and just to have at home another point of having less products can also be in terms of cleaning 
just cleaning with water is so much better for the environment and it's also so much better for your health because a lot of the times all these cleaning products you use they have a lot of chemicals in them they smell really weird they smell really bad they're really artificial when you breathe them in sometimes i just feel dizzy and i just like don't like the smell at all you have to open all the windows to get the shend out and i don't really like that so i like to keep it really simple in terms of cleaning as i mentioned you can get get these really simple soap bars which have just a few ingredients and we also use this Dr. Browner soap which you can just basically use for everything. You can use that in the shower for your hair. Even people brush their teeth with it or they just put it on their skin or you just clean your dishes with that or your clothes. So you can basically use that for everything. Other than that, just clean your things with water and maybe a splash of apple cider vinegar. That way it doesn't smell that artificial. You don't have to worry about breathing that in and you have way less products that stand around that clutter up your life. You save up money with just using water. My fifth life hack might not work for everyone, but you can just try out if it works for you and it definitely works for me at least and that is ditching your car. I don't need a car, I don't even have a driving license and that is because I was growing up in a big city and it's not really necessary to have a car here. I just use public transport or I just take my bike or I just walk to places and that is way better for the environment and it also saves up a lot of money. Sometimes you don't even realize how much money you put in your car and it's not just gas but also taxes and all these kind of things and if it's possible for you and you can ditch it and you don't have to use it anymore and you are able to live without a car, if you don't really need it just try it out if you can ditch your car because that is definitely for me a big life hack. My next life hack definitely helps you to keep a fewer things, just having less things to worry about, but still keeping things that are really important for your life. And that is having things that have multiple purposes. And with that being said, I have a few examples for you. My first one is coconut oil. Coconut oil is basically good for everything. You can just apply it to your skin. It makes it really soft. It is good for dry skin. I love the smell as well. Then you can use it for cooking, obviously. Then you can also use it for your hair you can just massage it in so it makes your hair really soft and nice and shiny another thing is oil pulling you just squish around a little bit of oil for like 10 to 15 minutes and it's definitely really beneficial for your teeth and for your oral health my second thing that is definitely really important for me is my yoga mat i love doing yoga recently got into the habit of doing yoga every single day and it's just so relaxing I definitely want to get a light one so I can carry that around with me and just have it wherever I go. A yoga mat is just amazing. You can sit on it, you can lay on it, you can relax on it, you can do exercise on it, yoga obviously and a yoga mat is just awesome. And my third point that had multiple purposes is a rice cooker. You can cook so many different dishes in it. Obviously you can do rice in it and quinoa but also you can cook beans in it and I've seen people make like banana bread in a rice cooker but you can also do soups and stews and just curries or all types of dishes you can basically prepare in a rice cooker so a rice cooker is definitely something you should get if you just want to simplify your life and have less things or you don't even have a stove or an oven if you live in a dorm that something like that is really helpful so you have something that doesn't take up a lot of space but you can use it in so many different ways my next point just helps you keep things organized. I personally really like that. It is really calming and relaxing for me and I know where everything is at. And that is keeping your personal items in one particular place. For me, for example, I just have my wardrobe and I keep all the similar things next to each other. For example, I have all my clothes in there and then my all my electronics, all my computer and camera and all these kind of things, my books, my journals, my paperwork, or your shoes as well just all these kind of things from your hobbies or things you're passionate about you just keep at one place so you're easier for you to find you don't have to stress or worry about if you need something you can just easily grab it because you know where it's at and that is definitely one big life hack that saves up time saves up stress it is so much easier for you to just organize your life 
My last and final life fact is referring to the point I was just talking about but also to the first point I was mentioning and that is in terms of any kind of books or paperwork or files or even pictures or anything like that you might think about making everything digital. It is so much easier to keep everything organized and keeping as I said everything in one place if you just scan everything into your computer and put it onto a hard drive or a USB stick so you have everything on hand whenever you need to. I have to say I'm not there to have everything on my computer yet. I don't have all my paperwork on there. It would be so much easier but I'm not there yet. Applying it now to my life saves up so much time and makes things so much easier so I would definitely suggest doing that for you guys. And that was actually it for my top minimalist life hacks that also help you to save up money but also declutter your life to simplify it and just make everything a lot easier. And I hope these tips were helpful. Share more down in the comments below if you have any more tips. Subscribe to my channel so you see more videos about minimalism, about travel or just veganism because these are the things I'm passionate about and these are the things I want to share with you guys. Also also all my other minimalist videos. I have a playlist. I'm going to link you down below so you have them all at one place so it's easier for you to find them. See that was one life hack for me. I hope you have an amazing day guys and I see you in my next video. Bye! Today I'm going to vlog and it feels like ages since the last time I vlogged. Raw chocolate brownies for my ebook. I don't, 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 I don't,